Hello everybody, Modelling Weekly here. Today I'll be doing a channel update but also a tour of the workbench where I make all of my models. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. First off we'll start with the quick update. Okay, so many of you will be wondering why the second part of the Dogfight Doubles kit hasn't been released yet and there's a simple reason why. My workstation has been resituated into my bedroom which means I need to reconfigure my airbrush ventilation system. This could, of course, be done by Sunday if I'm lucky. This means that uh, until it's done, I can't use my airbrush, which obviously means I can't paint my mesh smit for the YouTube video. When I do have my airbrush ready, though, I'll be making slash finishing the following four kits. The Airfix Dogfight Doubles mesh smit The Tamiya Hanomag German Half Track. The Airfix Jet Provost. And the Airfix Boeing B-17 flying fortress. So those builds will be all be going on my channel for you to see of course. Now someone in a previous video asked if I could build the new tools airfix bolt and pull defiant. Now um, I will do that build in the future but I do need to get through the four other kits I just mentioned a second ago. Um, so that's the news, let's uh, take a look at my work workbench shall we? Okay, so starting off in the corner here we have my Belejo uh, airbrushing paints. I don't have many of them but I do have the right colours to finish the mesh submit when I get the chance. Um, next to these I've got a third hand along with a tester plane that um, I and my brother use to test washes and paints. Moving along into the far corner there I've got some earbuds for applying decals and cleaning off some washes. Next to them I have my weathering powders and an enamel wash that I uh, bought to try out. If you want to see how that went you can check out my Churchill build in the description below. I've also got some tapes as you can see here. Also some masking tapes are in there as well. Cocktail sticks and resin. As you can see they are in there. Next up I have my brush pot with loads of random brush sizes that I've collected over the four years that I've been modelling. Next to that there are my airbrushing fluids which are cleaner and flow improver. Here's the flow improver and here is the cleaner. Uh, then next up I've got my uh, tools container where I have my knife, tweezers, pliers and glues elastic bands and pegs for holding plain parts together. Here's like a pliers, knife. This uh, tool here is for um, cardboard building. And then I've got some cardboard glue and some PVA glue. In front of all this there is my storage box. In it I have all of my Humbrol glues, Revell paints and other random things like fishing wire. So Humbrol glues, uh, Revell paints, fishing wire, all the types of glues, Araldite, got, um, I think that's super glue there, and then got a Revell contact glue. Then we have a tin full of Humbrol enamels and Humbrol acrylics. I've also got some Tamiya paints in there as well. As you can see, these are the Tamiya paints. I've only got four of them. And I don't know why I've got two of the same colour, but that doesn't matter. Humble enamels, humble acrylics. Behind that tin there is a nice little shelf where I put my spray cans and humble solutions. As you can see the spray cans up there. Got deco fix, clear, another deco fix, and uh, I think that's liquid poly and clear fix down there. Uh, along to the left is another tin, this time with small humble acrylic paints in it. As you can see here, got quite a lot over the years. So a lot of them have run out before, obviously, but these are most of these are surviving. We've also got like a water pot there. Um, now then, uh, some of you may have noticed that there are two workstations here on this bench. The reason for that is that my brother models as well, and we both share the workbench. So this is his workspace here, and on the right um, over here. Uh, is where I record my videos and do all that stuff. On his side you can see he has uh, his tools container, spare decals and Tupperware and some mixing palettes. 
black box has some spare parts and extra glues in it. So um, mixing palettes over here, part container. Um, there's the decals over here. So like you've got your spare decals um, that we haven't used. Pretty useful. And lastly, just a close up of the black box, like some spare clear parts from like the Spitfire and stuff. Buried in there, I think, is a, another uh, pot of Araldite. Got some spare knife blades underneath of there. These are my um, Messerschmitt windscreens that are going to go on the 148 Messerschmitt. So, uh, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing my workspace and where I keep all of my stuff. I hope you stay in tune for the next build video that will be coming out soon and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!